Let's miss, let's miss, let's miss. <laughs>probably going to be the quickest and easiest hair tutorial you have ever seen we're getting into a faux hawk today this is something that my mom taught me actually and it's basically how to use these clips so quick and so easy it is the perfect season it's glam season it's holiday season and for a lot of people with short to even medium length curly hair I know this is especially the time of year where you're tempted to straighten it you possibly could end up with heat damage and so I just wanted to kind of give you guys an alternative especially those who are like me and my hair cannot fit in like a full ponytail especially with these pieces back here being so short so like this is kind of gonna be like my go-to switch it up zhuzh me up kind of style and it's gonna be a faux hawk I've done a faux hawk tutorial on here before but that was like years ago I kind of wanted to show you guys how I do it with my hair currently and just kind of do like an updated revamp tutorial it is so easy literally a 30 to 60 second style this is like super comfortable super quick and easy to do and I'm very excited to show you guys so let's just go ahead and get started all right, so I'm starting off with day six hair. You really, when you're gonna do a faux hawk, you want to start with hair that has lots of volume. You don't necessarily, or I personally don't, necessarily like to do this with my hair like off of a fresh wash because I just feel like when the faux hawk is like big and fluffy and huge, I just feel like it's a little bit more of a vibe for sure. So literally all you're gonna need are these comb clips right here yes these <laughs> that none of us have actually properly known how to actually use them I'm about to show you it gets the faux hawk secure and it's actually really really comfortable to wear I do not mess with bobby pins I cannot deal with bobby pins they are stressful you end up having to use like about 200 just on one side you know what I mean all right so I'm going to take this clip so First, you can see that it does have a little bit of a curve to it, right? So we're gonna start with the curve facing out. So do you see how the curve is kind of going outwards away from my face? We're gonna start like that with the pointy side pointing up. So let me let me just get a little close up. So just like this is how we're gonna start. And I like to usually just start from the back and I'm gonna use one hand to push my hair back. You push the comb in upwards, turn it, upside down and then push it back in. Boom, we're secured in the back. Do you see it kind of happening already? I'll try to zoom in so I can get a little bit more of a closer up view for you guys so you can see exactly what's going on. But it is literally that quick and easy. So I'll keep showing you guys the same thing over and over. We just keep moving up slightly every single time. So we're just going up a little bit here. So let me decide on my placement again starting with it going up you push up turn it a little bit and then boom push it into your hair downwards look <laughs> it's happening so can you guys see it it's just sitting all you can see is like that bottom piece of the comb clip because the rest of it is just in here and it's secure that's not like that's not coming out anytime soon and to take it out you just pull it out and that's it but i just like how easy and comfy so we're gonna just keep on going so once again same thing holding it from the base comb is facing outwards you comb it in turn it around and push it down and look like this is tight this is secure secure when i tell you I'm not playing any games like this thing is secure. It's not going anywhere. You see what I mean when I told you this is about to be the quickest tutorial of your life like you're gonna be like dang where have these things been? We've all seen them in the drugstores and been like what are they? How do you use them? This is how this is how and it's like it's amazing. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the same exact steps for the other side Like, look at this. This is so cute. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is kind of sort out the front because I feel like right now it's looking a little bit heavy and a, look, a little bit like big. So we're just going to add it right here. Okay, so I'm going to have to move this one. This is something you want to make sure it does not happen. <laughs> so I'm going to move it back just a little bit so it doesn't show in my edges. Taking it out is easy. You just kind of pull from the top and it comes right out. So then I'm going to re 
replace it. Boom. So you can still see it a little bit here, but because my hair is going to be falling right on top of it, I'm not mad at it at all. So look at how this entire side looks. Huh? It's coming along. And then last one for the front on the other side. All right, so that looks a lot better. It doesn't look as top heavy as it was before. Yeah, this is so cute. This is so cute. So I'm just gonna play around with my bangs just a little bit more. We did not come to play today. No, we did not. I mean, she's chic, right? I mean, this is a completely different look. This is like, this is bomb. This is bomb. This is so cute. I could see myself rocking this with like a cute like sparkly you know what new year's eve this would be a really nice new year's eve outfit even like a holiday outfit if you're trying to stunt when you're going over to your family's house for christmas dinner man here we are but yeah guys that's it for this tutorial i told you no lies when i said it's gonna be short sweet to the point quick and easy there's many ways to do a faux hawk but this is just truly my favorite by far hope you guys are enjoying this miss as much as i am i mean let's miss let's miss let's miss let's go <laughs> but yeah guys i will catch you tomorrow for the next video bye